Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everybody. Welcome back to another of my video. In this video, we're going to solve this question here. And this is actually a redraw and a tangent questions. And most of from my students, from you, I heard so many of you having difficulty to complete this question. And to those who really find this question is so much challenging for you, please do not mind blog. Of course, we used to be a disaster, but you know, every master wants a disaster. Means that if we give it a try, give ourselves a chance, opportunity, trust in ourselves, that believe in ourselves that we have the potential to understand this, then we are going to be a better person. You're going to learn about this, and I'm pretty sure you are going uh, to be good at doing a tangent question like this one. Right, so without further ado, in this video, I'm not going to explain much. I'm just gonna do the questions. So I just because I don't want to waste much of uh, your time. Uh, and if you have any question, just leave it in the comment section, or you can just ask me directly. Right, so let's do this. Um, as usual, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a different color to as my as our construction line. So what we want to do is just make a straight line here and have another horizontal straight horizontal line there. Okay. Uh just want to warn you again. I'm I have saying this, I have said saying this, I have been saying this so many times, but my answer would be really not accurate. Okay, because I'm using this software, it's quite difficult compared to really using hands drawing. So I'm gonna start by okay, I'm not sure if you can see the dimension here, but please refer to your manual drawing. Your manual, your sorry, your lab manual to see the actual the actual diagram. So uh, this is from point P here. From point P we're gonna go up there and that would be 58 and then adding to 20, you're gonna get is it 58? Yeah, 58 plus with 20. That is 78, we're gonna get to the highest point here. This point here. All right, so let's do that. That would be 78, 58 plus 20, 78. And I'm starting from 30, that would be 108. Yeah. So I bring it a bit further away. Okay. And yeah, looks good. And just mark there from here. Oh, oh all right yeah it's just just nice there. okay all right somehow it touch just want to put a point a dot there so to say that is our point and from there if we're going to the other side this one is 26 to the left to the right means that this is like our half here and half there so uh, 26, so that's going to be 13. So I'm just going to start with 40. Oh, uh, it's quite difficult. Okay. Going to get 53 then. One. Yeah. Okay, looks good and then it's gonna go all right before that let's just draw draw a straight line there this is my style if you want to follow this exact way oh excuse me i forgot to change the color you can just do what i'm doing but if you have another method i mean what you want to show what you want to, you don't want to show up to you some people want to start from here some people start from here it doesn't matter as long as you get the right answer. Okay, and that is the best thing about that is the blessing about redraw or manual drawing. You have so many ways. Then I'm gonna draw ourselves straight line here going down. And I believe if I'm doing this hand hands drawing, it will be much faster. If you want, you can just 
skip to the pipe that you need in this video or you can just set the playback speed change the speed of the video okay and then we're gonna have 20 down there this one going down 20 let's do that oh get it a bit and 20 i'm taking from 40 that would be 60. I don't think that is quite accurate, but yeah, just let's go with that. Otherwise, we're gonna spend too much time on that. Oh, I finish it. Excuse me. I don't want to get. I I know it's not going to be accurate, but I'm never gonna get accurate. But uh, just best I could. Because this is tangent accuracy is very important at 20 there and there's going to be 20 here as well i can just use uh, the compass again to get that but just want to make it like uh, look more professional i'm just going to use this so now we're going to have we now have our point here let's make a dot dot here there that here dot here right that is our point a i believe it's going to be our point a Right, and there's going to be our point H. So, oh. okay. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to draw this circle here. Although, you, if you see this, it's like a hook. There are some hook here, but actually, it's a combination of several circles. So, if you look at point P here, it has a shows here this this one this bit here this small bit here from point for center point p it has a radius the small circle here is having having it has a radius of 20 mm so i think this is 20 mm okay. yeah so then make things faster okay just for the sake of showing you different the difference when i'm doing a circle and so on so i'm just gonna use red color now okay and then from point p here we have a 6 mm going to the other side and going 10 mm 6 mm to the other side as well so let's use our compass if you want you can just use exact directly use your ruler if you want to but it's going to be very difficult for me so i'm just going to use compass because sometimes 6 mm is too small to use compass by a hand manual by a hand drawing uh, want to label here so i'm using uh, my compass instead but if you like you can just use your ruler it's up to you doesn't really matter change to the six point there okay i'm just gonna use my ruler here bring it down good And 6 mm from here. Oh, so really hurting my hand. In the mouse. And that would be our. Right, yeah. That, that's the point. What does it say? So it has, uh, there is our center point of 42 mm radius let's do take that radius so i'm setting at 40 oh it's so hard to control okay 82 <laughs> yep and then let's just draw our our radius our in red color again uh should I, should I make a different color yeah i think let's, let's do a different color let's try with blue, this blue here because i want you to see the difference this one is the small the 42 mm but in your case please use construction line which is your thin line 
you don't have to use different colors okay, this is for the sake of learning okay now we have the two big uh, circle here this one this bit and this big now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have this arc here and this arc here this is actually a tangent from one point meeting at the tangent on the center and the tangent is on the small circle this bit here and it should go somewhere around here uh which go to maybe here so we don't use gonna use this line but what we're gonna do instead if you see these 40 i think it's 48 yeah 48 48 mm radius up here it goes it meets here so we know that if we we have if we take 40, 48 mm something like that i'm not sure it's going to be straight line but just as a guess so if you take a 48 mm by using your compass and bring here then your the center point should be somewhere around here then if you take from this point here and if this is the, the the tangent as you know okay is the tangent here i'm not sure where does it mean but maybe here okay so this is like uh, the radius is this radius of the circle here which is 20 and then you're gonna add this is from this is 20 right and then you're gonna add if you take this our reference to 20 plus 48 and then we're gonna add you're gonna get another like something like somewhere about that okay. so this is gonna be like 20 plus 48 and this line here is 48 okay right so enough planning let's just do this so let's begin with 48 first so 48 then it's going to be uh, 88 okay uh yeah from which point from point a uh are we gonna use i'm gonna use red i'm gonna use red because this is, this is related to this small scale so just label somewhere there and then from the center point of p from point p we're gonna add 48 plus 20 which is 68 so this is gonna be if I'm taking from 40, that would be 40 plus 68, gonna get 108. Just make sure you get the right distance. So we're gonna take from here 40 plus 20, sorry, 48 plus 20, and then if you cross here, it goes here, and let's get back to 48. So that's our radius. 68. Yeah. And I'm just going to do that and bring it here. Yeah, it meets there. Nice and clean. And it should touch just nice. And that would be, that would be our, what we call, the 48 uh, mm tangent line there meeting meeting at the tangent point here so uh, because i'm pretty sure this is our that is our object line so i'm just going to make it darker thicker as our object line okay all right so let's get back to okay yeah uh Let's do this as well. Right here. Because I'm pretty sure as well this is gonna be straight line there. Okay, as I mentioned it might not be accurate, not be that not be not be that accurate because it has like a snap object snap here so it's quite difficult for me to get right one so i'm just gonna use it instead just 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 use just use it i know you understand it then let's draw another one 
just want to show you this our object line here right um and next let's go to this one this is 28 mm radius so if you can see from this point we know it's 28 so just gonna do that first So starting from 30 then it's gonna be 58 and the small number very troublesome isn't it such and it has such a hassle 20 yeah i should go there let me know if i i took a wrong dimension distance okay, that's true. Uh, you know if i did that somewhere because i want to show I might get wrong answer so this is 20 you can see it there let's start here point this point h here so maybe around there uh, I'm using this color so because I want you to know it, it must be related to this big circle. And from this circle, because the tangent touch here, so if I took from if I take from the center point, bring to the tangent point here. Yeah, all right. Okay, here again. Here, and this is our center point here. That is 42. And then if you continue 28. And that will be your another line here. So it's gonna be 40, 42 plus 28. That is is it 70? Yeah, it's 70. Yeah. So yeah, 70. So let's take 28 plus 42, 70. I begin at 30. Oh, excuse me. Then we're gonna get at 100. A. so not from p always remember that from this line here do not mistaken and then from there uh did not do that quite nicely just to redo it again and i'm not sure it's going to get the same same one or not oh, excuse me. All right, so the radius is 28. So just bring your cursor here. Starting from 20, therefore we're gonna get 48. Okay. So it just meet here, yeah. And meet there. So because i'm pretty sure this is our answer so we're just gonna use object line now okay see that looks nicer then all right so what's next i'm pretty sure this hook here this small circle here now we don't know it already and we'll touch to this line here so i'm just gonna draw that first Let's just draw the whole, I mean, the, the object line. It makes things much, uh, you know, looks nicer. And we are just, if, give us a sense of we are closing. We are getting there. Okay. This is my style. I always, the part where that I know for sure now we, got, we already have the confirmation on the object line. So I'm just going to draw it. Draw and just back there, and it should go up to now. Now, when you see this, give you much more confidence, isn't it? Because now you know that we are getting close. What left is just this part here. And all right, so the next one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw this 30, 30, 33 mm here and if you notice here of course it's quite difficult to see from the the drawing that i'm using right now but if you look at question here make it bigger for you okay look at here 
this 33 okay, let's really look at the arc here is this one where it touch this circle here small circle this 20 red mm radius uh, circle so basically it must it has a tangent there and this one it has the point here so why do i know here is the point because if you look at the rest of the radius here it shows like this but this one is a little bit different it had a straight line straight to this point here so it means that the point of action is here the one we're talking about so what we're going to do is we're going to take from this um center here and then we're going to have 20 here and then it should touch here at 30 mm so 20 plus 30 mm that is our point here and then we can draw like uh, some of the arc here right and then we're gonna look at the rest okay so yeah i think we're just gonna proceed and explain this the next thing right and here we see that we have a 17 mm radius of a small arc here that touch the bigger one the bigger uh circle here which is the 42 where so we know that this is 42 we take from here and goes here 42 mm here yep 42 mm and then it goes another extent 17 mm here and then we're gonna look further uh where we're gonna get different things i'm gonna explain it later on all right let's do the 33 mm bit first so we're just gonna do 33 plus with 20 which is 53 and that would be 30 if we start from 30 that's gonna be 80 Excuse me. Yep. So, because this is using this related to the small circle, the red circle, I'm gonna use red as well. Change the size. And just right here, and this extent here. Just bring your up with me. That's right. From 30, we're going to take the 33 mm radius to draw the arc there. It's going to be 33. And from this point here, I have 33. Great or not? Draw there. Okay. So at least we know that we know the arc 33 mm here from this point here. Now, next, let's look at small one here, the small bit here. But before that, what we can do is you see here there is 21 mm. There is 21 mm there. Right, there is 21 mm here. So what you can do, you just make a straight line there. First. So let's take 21. Plus with 21, that would be 41. And then uh, from this point here, yeah, that. okay. So we can use color, make a straight line from here. And then if you draw from there, it should touch. And this gonna go to here. There is your twenty one there, so it should touch on the small circle here, the small circle here, which is uh, five mm radius. And the next thing, 
we're gonna do is we want to take uh, the 17 mm here we want to draw the 17 mm by adding 42 plus with 17 because we know it touched the big circle here it touched the big circle which also going to use this uh, center point as our reference so it's going to be 42 and then plus 17 so let's draw that first i'm going to using this line here so 42 plus 17 Then gonna be sixty nine. Forty two plus seventeen or fifty. Yeah, fifty nine. So starting from one hundred, then it's gonna be one hundred and fifty nine. Yeah, around that. And don't forget, we are referring to this point here. So we can draw somewhere on here somehow it touch there so our 17 uh, the center point of our 17 mm could be around on this line here but we, we haven't get the, the the exact one first okay we're gonna stop at here first already got this uh, 40, uh 42 plus 17 uh, line here so we, because we want to know the 17 mm radius i'm gonna stop here for a while and let's look let's go back to this seven uh, this five mm radius here this small bit here so if you notice here that this five mm would touch at 30 this 33 this one here that we have already draw one here okay 33 uh, up here and then it will meet somewhere at 7 mm here so what we can tell that is if we took We go down this 20 mm here this 21 that you, that you can see okay this one here 21 mm here and it should touch here okay but then if you go down at 5 mm so that is where we're gonna have our center point but we're not sure where but we know it should be along this line here we're going to make that line first. That's 5 mm line. So you're just going to use this point here. A. I'm going to use green color because we want to decide that one. So. Oh, sorry. there okay it's a little bit tricky this part here so let me know if you have any difficulty to understand but if you go bit by bit i think you can do this so this is where uh we're gonna just make a straight line there so we know that our 5 mm radius this small circle here the center should be on this line here because it starts the 21 and it should go down 5 mm this is where we're gonna get the center the center point of f m m and then if you notice here the 33 mm here it touch the 5 mm as well so this go the outer side so if we go back 5 mm meaning that 30, 33 minus with 5 we're gonna get the arc radius where if we meet there All right so without just let's just start and if you use your here 33 minus we 5 that would be 28 28 so start with 100 so we're gonna get get here yep so begin at this point here anyway touch i'm gonna use green color Where it touch here touch the line there there's five m as i said we want to draw the five m, m diameter sorry radius so that is our cross section there is our center point so if we go back get the five m, m diameter that radius sorry excuse me five m, m radius there we are going to get 
our small circle that touch the whole thing. I mean, let's do it first, then you can see what I'm what I what what, what do I mean? I'm gonna use the blue color to make it a little bit different. Okay, if I draw that and you notice that this it touch this line here now it's five mm, and it touch there the three the thirty three mm. Right, so what we're gonna do is gonna make it darker first because we want to say that we know this already gonna be our from here. This is gonna be our object line. Want to make things simplified? Uh, not not that accurate. Maybe a bit further. Yep, better. No, it's not really good. As I say it's not that accurate, so I just gonna play around. Get as much as I can. Right, so stop there. Yep, and then I'm gonna take the. Okay, right. So I'm gonna stop here first, and then we're gonna have the final one seventeen mm. And remember the seventeen mm here. It touch this five. It touch this. This is the five. The five mm uh, circle here and it touch the 17 mm if we take this as our reference point our center point as our reference point so 17 um plus with 5 so this is 5 and then go here set 5 mm and then it goes another 17 so we're gonna get the other line so let's make that 17 minus with 5 we're gonna get 12 touch to the bigger size first the big one so if you took from here right uh the i say minus we should add it yeah, i'm sorry it shouldn't be minus it should be adding I mean, 5 mm plus with 17 which is 22 me i bet I'm pretty sure I say plus, but I, what I did is was uh, minus. Hard to get very accurate. Again, from the center point, there's our reference. So 5 mm here, and then add another 17, so it should be there. So our. Uh, I'm, And it touch here. Remember, this is the point where we add because the seventeen, it touch with the big circle. So I have done this before. Forty two plus with seventeen. Now, now we have the center point. So now we're gonna use seventeen as our radius. Nice. So taking this as our center point. Now. I start from here and touch there so I know that this is where it touch okay so I'm gonna start from here and having our object line there and then the small one 5 mm one I'm not sure it's going to be accurate or not, but let's just try it. Put that down here. And then if you complete it, it's going to look like this one. Uh, as I said, it wouldn't, it doesn't look like quite nice because I'm using this software. It's not that accurate. But if you use your free hands, it will be much better. Yep. And the rest, what you're going to do is you want to just label everything so this is our point a or point b point b is touch here oh excuse me and the g here oops in yeah and our point c here point c our point f here 
touch okay, this is actually not touching here it should be touching somewhere around here okay but i have all the construction lines so i know and our point e is touch here the tangent here tangent point e then finally the tangent point b sorry d we have a b c d e f g and h and that's it for this um question i hope it helps you um see you in the next video and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and goodbye